The next section I want to show you is how to get precise automation levels. I have a track set up here with a guitar loop, which sounds like this. I added in a kick. And then a drum loop. But I want to automate the drum loop to get louder and lower as it plays. Now this technique is going to work with any source you want. This is just an example. But I'll open up the mixer. And I'm going to find the level for the louder portions I want, like this. But what I want to do is bring it up and down. And we can see that if I use preview mode, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and grab the fader, and it'll jump back up when I let go of the fader, like this. Pull it down, hit play. So I want to do something like that. And notice when I did it, it jumped back up to the exact level. But if we do this with automation, we don't need to use preview or audition. We can do it with touch mode. So right click over here, switch the automation mode to touch, and we'll bring it down to the lower setting like this, and play the track and just let go, and it'll jump up to the louder one each time, like this. And notice it's perfect right over here, here, and here, as it jumps back to the same level each time. That's the benefit of using touch mode, because we're not touching the fader, it jumps back to the previous level, so it's perfect. Now we could also do this the other way. Let's undo that, and let's find the quieter level we want. We want to raise it up with automation. So do the same thing, switch it to touch mode, but this time we're going to bring it up and it's going to drop down to the lower level each time. Again, perfectly, like this. Again, the lower level is perfect, as we can see over here here, here, and here. So we're getting a more precise level, whether we're bringing it up or bringing it down. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.